Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we are going to start with the second video. Study with me for practical deep learning for coders. So in the last video we learned the first chapter. And you watch Jeremy's video on the first chapter. So at the end of the chapter, um, at the end of the first course, first chapter, you've got certain instructions, certain tools. Um, you've got a set of uh, quiz questions that you have to answer. And then you've got a couple of notebooks. So what I'm planning to do in this video is I'm planning to show you Kaggle because that's something I know. And we are going to first just copy paste um, Jeremy's notebook. Then we're going to try to run it. And then we are going to actually code it like side by side and to keep it and then type it out so that um, we get the practice. That's, that's what um, this is going to be. So instead of study with me, I'm going to call this code with me. Let's get started. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have a headphone, my headphone ran out of charge. So put it on so I can use it. The first thing that you need to do is um this link will be in the YouTube description of this. And you can when you like scroll down to the resources section, you can see the Kaggle notebooks for this. And uh, you can also see is it a bird? Create your own like create a model from your own data. Jupyter Notebook 101, which I'm not going to get into it. And also you can see the first chapter. So the book, um, I just keep on showing this. I've got this book. I would strongly recommend you to buy this book. Jeremy's work, I really, really appreciate it. So something that you can do it to support the author, appreciate their work. And it's also very handy and uh, it's quite helpful. Um, but the book, like let's say if you cannot code it, you want it digitally, the book is available online. And uh, that's that's what exactly what we are seeing now. So here you can see the content almost like what um, Jeremy went through in the first chapter. And but it is more detailed and it is uh, more English like to read it. And uh, it's quite verbose. So what I want to do here is I want to show you that this exists, but I want to quickly jump into Kaggle. First, I'm going to show you how to log in. If you have never logged into Kaggle, so go to kaggle.com. If you never have an account, you need to go here. You know, you need to click, you need to click register. Then you need to sign up. But because I have an account, I already have a Kaggle account, so I can do sign in. Say, sign in with your email. And then I put my username, this is not the data. And then I put my password. Kaggle has taken me into Kaggle. So now this is how my Kaggle dashboard looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the link which um, we have got from the fast A course and I'm going to click this notebook link. It's going to open in the new tab. And you can see that right away we have got the notebook that uh, Jeremy has created. If you're new to Kaggle, um, Notebook is the computational hosted like Jupyter Notebook hosted on Kaggle environment. And if you do not know, Kaggle is owned by Google. So it's it's hosted on Google's computing environment where you've got access to CPU, GPU, TPU. TPU central processing unit, GPU graphical processing unit, TPU tensor processing unit. You would also see here like what is a GPU and you know why do you need GPU? Like those, those kind of information. What, what is a GPU? This, you know, this this is why I absolutely love Jeremy because um, everybody would assume that the person who takes this course should at least know what is a GPU, but Jeremy did not do that. Like you know, the the book even explains people that what is a GPU, and um, that is how you can actually build an inclusive ML community. And uh, fast fast AI is a testament to that. So. Now that we know that this notebook, this notebook is like your Jupyter notebook, but it is hosted on GPU. Uh, I mean, it's available on Kaggle as a notebook. So you can, um, you can. Now, first thing that we are going to do is, I'm going to show you this button. Now, what does this button do? This button, when you click it, it's going to copy this notebook from Jeremy's account into your own Kaggle account. So at this point, I'm assuming that you've got a Kaggle account. You have verified your phone number and all those things. Um, Kaggle does it to make sure that uh, the account is known because Kaggle has got the medal system. A lot of people have always taken advantage or, uh, you know, try to uh, 
try to game the system so that's one of the reason Kaggle does it but, but yeah so after you do all the basic sanity one set of process with Kaggle next thing is once you reach this notebook you have a button called copy and edit it means you are going to port this notebook copy this notebook into your own personal space from Jeremy's space that's what we are going to do I'm, I'm I've been carrying for quite a while so when you see here 263 upwards 1054 ports copy and edits 1065 people at least have come here to port, copy this into um, their own space or 1054 times they've done but you can see almost only 25 percent of these instances turned out to be an upward um i i i know for sure jeremy um somebody's jeremy's caliber doesn't mind or wouldn't care about upwards but if you're a new kagler a lot of kaglers really uh, love to get these upwards and get converted into medals it's 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 motivating so please whenever you want to use a notebook whenever you see a notebook and you find it helpful please upload the notebook then go fork it copy and edit also if you want to you know share some nice words you can go scroll down to the last section and then you can say thanks for this amazing course this is a blessing so you appreciate the author um which is optional i would say but at least you know have a habit of uploading the notebook um and then copy and edit so now i'm going to click copy and edit and when i click it you would see that from jeremy howard space it it came into my space space and the first thing that you need to make sure is once you get into this i want to show you which is which is here this is usually closed click this button click this button okay this closed click this button go to settings make sure two things uh, two things the first thing is uh, of course it will be python nobody likes r so i mean i love r python then you have to select the accelerator as gpu just to make sure that you have got the gpu machine like google has allocated a gpu machine for this session and uh, as you know kaggle has got a gpu quota like you can use 40 hours of GPU in a month or a week, I don't know. Uh, but it gets reset. The thing is, you need to also enable internet. Why do we need internet? So Kaggle is actually giving you like a machine, like imagine like a computer. So what you're saying is that Kaggle, when you give me the computer, give me a GPU, not a CPU. But also you're telling Kaggle that give me a computer with internet connection. And why is internet connection important? First, internet connection is important for us to install libraries. If you're going to do pip install or something, then you need it. Also, in this particular notebook, what we are also going to do is we are also going to download images and train our own deep learning model, the first deep learning model. I mean, of course, if you want to download images from uh, the internet, you um, then need internet to download from internet. So this, this is why like we have the GPU enabled, we have the internet. Cool. So after you do these things, now I'm going to blindly, like I'm not going to tweak anything, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to blindly run all. This is my first step. This is, um, this is where I'm just taking Jeremy's notebook, copying it into my own personal space environment, not environment, my user account, user space, then running everything. And uh, I think it took about like 600 seconds or 160 seconds. I don't remember exactly. It didn't take a lot of time. And uh, you can see the first cell is executed. Now, while this is getting executed, let's let's try to go through um, this this notebook. The first cell says uh, phone verification is reported. So this code is here to check that your internet is enabled. So this entire code, the only purpose of this code is to check if your internet is enabled, nothing else. So when we are going to code in a new notebook, maybe, you know, this is not bad. And you can see that it is installing fast AI library. And as you remember, like if you remember from the course, you know that U means upgrade, Q 
mean quiet without having any um, you know like a lot of details we are uh, we're just uh, upgrading like installing the latest version of fast a and then q means installing quietly and the next thing is uh, you can see that we are trying to download the images of birds and non birds so for that we are creating a function i mean i'm not doing any of this right but the same we uh, we are creating a function here that says search images and then it looks for images and we are looking for bird photos just downloading one image and uh, and then seeing how the image looks like after we resize it then we are going to download the forest image um again the prob the problem statement here is we are trying to figure out whether an image is a bird or not a bird how would you say not a bird um you cannot have not a bird image so you need to specifically say you know what give me a gorilla give me chimpa give me forest give me computers so all these are not a bird so that's what we are doing here we are using forest images after we make sure that the image looks fine we are going to now download more images so in this case i think we are downloading 200 images after we download all the images now our training data set like the data set that is required for us to down um, for us to do deep learning is available the next step is we are going to first verify the images to make sure that you know maybe some photos were not in right format it didn't get downloaded properly and that shouldn't affect our model training process so we are going to verify that once we do that then we are going to build a data block so this is uh, this is the data uh, loaded uh, which um, jamie covered a uh, slightly you know like he took, he took quite a while explaining this first which the data loaders is an object that contains a uh, training set the images Training set is like the set of images used to create the model. And also, it has got the validation set. And um, validation set is something that is used for validation, which means it's it's like the right answers that you know so that you can evaluate how the model is doing, but the right answer is not part of the, the training. And uh, you can you can create your own data loader using here and uh, then we are going to use vision learner and you would see this right nlp learner vision learner sorry i don't know whether it is nlp learner or text learner. vision learner um text learner and then you've got a tabular learner based on the kind of problem that you're solving here particularly you're solving a computer vision problem so that's why you've got a vision learner which means this data set uses this pre-trained model resonate 18 and then it gets fine-tuned and um, and and we are going to we are going to finally use the model to predict one of the images like we're going to take the image of the bird indeed and then we are going to use it and the bird image would be present somewhere here in our working folder like right, right now we have it it's loading yeah so you can see that we have got the setup so because we downloaded all the images you can see the first demo image that we downloaded the second demo image that we downloaded and then we have got a folder full of images the training images that we use for training and then the fast AI library is actually doing all the tasks and then at the end of this we have successfully managed to predict and if you look at this now this is the flow of the notebook but i actually ran everything you can see that i have a session this is my ram and you can see that it has it has done a good job um this i mean it's not a model that i did. so for example when you give the bird image it said this is a bird with the probability of um, 100 percent now what i'm going to do is i want to say forest.jpg just to make sure that you know the model is not bluffing and uh, you can see that it, it says this is a forest with the probability of some decimal point p, which means it doesn't have almost with zero probability saying that it is a forest and you can you can actually do that with you know multiple uh, multiple images like you can get into like the folder for example you can say go, go into the folder and then you can do all those 
the point here is that we have successfully managed to create Jeremy's copy Jeremy's code notebook into our own space and then run it. So the first task is at this point, what you can do is you can click save version. And uh, if you want to rerun everything again, you can say save and run all. But because you have already saved, you can just keep a copy of it, which means the notebook would be saved as it is like what you see. And we call it quick save. And I'm going to do a quick save. I don't want this is computation. And also when you create a notebook by default, whether you create or a copy from somebody, the notebook would be private. If you want to make it public, you can make it public. I'm not going to make it public because I just forked Jeremy's notebook and I didn't do anything myself. So I'm not going to make it public. And uh, once I save the version, let's say I've made it public. Then if I want to share it with somebody, all I have to do is remove the edit button and uh, edit, edit from the URL. And you can see that my notebook is available. Cool. So now we are going to get into the last section of this video where we are going to create our own model. Um, we are going to create our own notebook where we are going to build our first deep learning model if it is your first deep learning model. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and then say click create. Okay. I'm going to click, sorry, click create, create new notebook. And um, meanwhile, I also want to go show you how you can get your own notebook another way. Go to your profile and um, code and look for the most recent one. Cool. We have it. Never open two Kaggle notebooks at the same time. Don't open it, edit it. Kaggle sometimes, you know, I think not necessarily supports uh, multiple sessions. So, just be mindful of it. So now what are we going to do? We know that we are going to create a new Kaggle notebook, right? So after you create the new Kaggle notebook, what are you supposed to do? First thing I told you, you need to make sure that you have got Python. You have got um, accelerators GPU, which means your machine that you're going to get is going to be allocated. So what is Kaggle saying? It says GPU session cap reach. Maximum interactive GPU session one. Okay, so which means the previous session that we opened, we didn't shut it down. So manage active session. And uh, you can see that the board thing is still running. You can see and say stop session. After you say stop session, your GPU gets allocated here. And you can see that we have already used seven minutes of our GPU. And then switch on the internet. GPU, internet, all done. So now we need to give a meaningful title. So you need to make a choice about what kind of project that you want. Like for example, um, you want to classify food pictures or you want to, you know, like, I don't know if you have seen Silicon Valley ever. Silicon Valley is a very popular piece. There was a very popular app called Hot Dog, not a hot dog. Uh, so you can do all those things. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to try. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. So I'm going to try to build a vision classifier, computer vision classifier, image classifier, where the classifier is going to try to find out whether a given image is idli or idli is a very popular South Indian food. I'm not a big fan. I know I know certain fans, but uh, I'm not a very big fan. But idli versus and um, what above? What above is um, quite popular in Maharashtra. Where I used to live. So I want to uh, check if we give an image whether the image classifier can say whether it is idli or it is a what above or um, or it idli not idli, right? It's it has to be like the idli, not not idli versus not idli. I mean, you can, I'm going to use whatever images for that. Do I need any of these things? I don't need any of these things. And uh, did my session start? It didn't start. So I'm going to start my session. After I start my session, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install pip, install upgrade QQ fast AI. 
the first thing that I'm going to do is install the fast AI library. But except the first thing, I don't know anything by heart. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to just simply keep that notebook in one side. Keep Jeremy's notebook in the other side. So I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to copy everything here or I'm going to type it actually. And the reason why I type it, which is something that I usually tell people when they watch my videos is that when you just blindly copy paste things, like I don't know if you have ever followed baking tutorials or cooking tutorials. When you specifically just simply blindly follow what the tutor or teacher is saying, um, I've had a really difficult um, um, difficult time in reproducing something. Sometimes it could be a very silly mistake that, uh, you know, that person would never make, but you would make. So I want to just type it out. So what is the first thing? The first thing is you need to create a function to download all the images. So now this is not the integral part of the machine learning or deep learning that we are trying to do. So I'm going to just copy and paste it. Now you might be thinking, okay, this guy just gave me an, a huge set of reason for typing over uh, copying pasting, but then he did it. The reason I did it, like I said, um, it's simple. The core important components, I want to type it out. I want, I want my finger to type it. I want my mind to you know, process it, not just copy. Okay. So now the search images function is done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to say, I want to download an image. Okay. I'm going to say from fast. I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally looking at this. And then I'm typing from fast download, import download url and then i can um you can actually you know do cell by cell as well like if i want i can do cell by cell as well i can say run this and then i can say destination what is the destination i want the destination to be called idli.jpg okay and then i can say download url of urls of zero zero is to indicate the first one when you get the like the this get the first one and save it in the destination as a, as a file name. Show progress. Sorry. Show progress equal to false. Run it. Oh, there is an error. This URLs are not defined. And this is why you have to type the code because we missed specifying the URL. So I'm going to say URLs equal search images of idli photos how many images do we want we want only one image and i want to print urls of zero the first url this is this is an image of an idli this is idli cool now the problem with this is idli with chutney uh, i can understand but you know idli okay and now run this download the image and it has stored in d.jpg so now when you go here um, when it loads you can see idli.jpg as in your idli image is successfully downloaded so now what i'm going to do i'm going to say from fast ai.vision.all um, usually people say don't do import star when you start learning it is fine but uh, Usually it is not memory efficient thing to keep in mind. Not just memory efficient, but people don't. I am equals image dot open. I think this comes from pillow and internally. And I want to resize the image to some 256, 256. When you download pictures from the internet, it could be of any size. So you just want to make sure that um, you're dealing with the right size. Okay, so we've got the idli image. Now let's do the same thing with uh, something else. So in this case, I'm going to do what about okay. download URL of search images of Vada Pav. How many images we want? We want max maximum images. Images equals one. 
okay so jeremy if you see in this code um like i think it just combined it so instead of assigning it to url like here you can see we do it assign it to url and then take the first value then do, do this thing instead of that i think here we are directly taking the first value and then we have to store it in wada underscore pow dot jpg no, then show progress equal to true you know what last time we did false let's do true and then so oh, keyword can't be an expression does it mean this bracket is closed here this bracket here okay so i uh, instead of putting a comma i added a dot silly mistake you will realize only when you type your code because if i had just copied and pasted i would be you know so proud of myself but ideally i'm just i was just using jeremy's code uh, image dot open what quotes quotes please quotes image dot open what a pop dot jpg to some 256 okay now surprisingly you know what about picture also comes with chutney like chutney is uh, in that it's the dip ideally this white thing is idli and this this is what about um, but that's okay this is what google is uh, duckduckgo is offering us so let's do it now we are going to collect more images we're going to say searches equals Italy, comma, what a pop. Okay, and I'm going to say path equals path of bird. Sorry, um, what is the folder where you want to store? Say Italy or not. My path, I'm going to say for O in searches. Trying to basically um, go in searches so here, goes one by one, and then go opens a new sub folder there inside this. And then, uh, if the directory does not exist, it's going to paste it, um, it's going to create the directory. In our case, the folder does not exist, so it's going to create it, and then it's going to download the images, save it there for simplicity. simplicity. I'm copying this and I'm running this and hopefully no indentation error. So next thing that we are going to do is we are going to do deep learning, deep learning. But at this point, you know that um, it's, um, it's taking a little bit of time, which I'll use it to my advantage to take a sip of. I don't know if anybody actually saw my video. I'm not sure if humans, I think like some bots or some like search engine must have seen it. I'm not sure about you. Okay, so looks like we have made a mistake. It says idli or not idli or the same file. I think that is another mistake where we did not do validation. Okay, validation is supposed to come. This is weird. It says, what does it say? It says path idli, path idli or not, are the same file. Okay, so let's refresh the folder. Refresh the folder here. Just wondering why did we get so I'm going to get into the folder idli or not idli. It's surprising that we got the same, which surprisingly. Okay, so we have only idli. Let me see if I did correct. So, okay. Okay, cool. So we have got a handful of idli images. Maybe what we can do is we can run this one more time to see if everything is going to get replaced. If not, then uh, we can manually delete that particular file, then ask it to write. 
but let's see so what i'm expecting right now to do is like because this is a new iteration i'm expecting it to overwrite that particular it it's saying it's 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 all the same file yes it's file what do i do now let me see if i made any mistake in the sense like whether when we download the images why can i replace the images when i download the images destination i want to download here i want to resize it i want to store it here and the complaint here is that it's all the same file so destination of zero image photo parents equal to let me quickly look at the documentation first ai download images download images i'm just trying to figure out if there is a way where we can replace the file preserve file name is equal to false that be a problem so it's it's i think this is like when we download the images we need to preserve the file okay so it doesn't look like it's offering us anything where we can store the pictures so what i'm going to try one more time is instead of downloading uh, what is you download the images um to download in what i'm going to do is say i want uh Search images I love oh so it's basically looking for Italy photo right mm. there's a file name seven five it ends with uh seven seven f ends with nine this is one of the most inefficient ways of solving this problem i'm going to delete this it doesn't it doesn't let me delete so what i'm going to do is copy the path copy the path the next time. idle is supposed to be deleted right now at this point so i'm going to rerun this and then see if the same error is going to come so i just deleted the file which uh, created that problem and um, it's quite surprising to me that because um, these names look like hash names to me um, it's if it is repeating it means like when we download it here using DuckDuckGo, it's possible that it downloaded images with the same so it's it is there like now the problem is for another image D -d -d -d. maybe maybe what i think is maybe DuckDuckGo does not have images for what we try to download the okay, max images 200 so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to reduce this to 50 images just for the sake of solving this problem i'm going to reduce this to 50 images and i'm going to rerun this everything to see if it can help us so let's see if it is good luck for us or better luck next time Okay, even 50 images this is the problem so can i remove the directory in itself like you know okay so even if you try to reduce the number of size of images it is repeating i think it's probably because the um, probably because uh, 
the item is same. So what? Okay, so let me do this. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to keep it 200. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is again another hacky way. I'm going to keep it 200. And I'm going to run this everything. Download images. Where is my download images? My search search images. I'm going to collect the URL. Okay, download images come from fast a cool i got it so now while we are downloading the image it's going to look for the search image when the error hits what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip the searches i'm going to separately do yeah so you can see that at idli so this happened so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy paste this code instead of searches i'm going to say what a pop and I'm going to run this. So now what I'm expecting it to do is I'm expecting it to run the Wadabov images, leaving out the idli images where this, this controversial error occurs. And uh, let's see if my hacky solution actually works. Meanwhile, I'm going to looks like it's working. Good thing. But what I'm actually looking forward to see is. Um, these kind of models, you know, they tend to learn from everything. Um, and when you see like it has got chutneys, I don't know how, how much chutneys are going to influence. Same error. Um, cool. I, I'm not, I'm not going to, I, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, uh, try to fix it, but, um, I think, I, I think we have enough images for us to proceed further. And, uh, with that, that assumption, I'm going to just search for any failed images like that we could not open so failed equals verify images get image files of path path is something that we had uh, already defined okay. so it's verifying the images after it verify images we are doing failed map if you remember the from the first tutorial um jeremy said jeremy Jeremy's coding style is more of functional and um, so map is a very strong functional function and uh, length of fail. fail cool we have got uh, field images not entirely sure what are we supposed to do if it failed okay so we did path and link cool we did path and link, we unlinked them. So at this point, we have reached the data set preparation or the data loaders preparation. We have to call it DLS data block. So press enter. And what are we going to add? We are going to add first blocks. So image block, comma, category block. Okay, the next thing is get items equal to get image files. Splitter is for validation if you remember. That's where um, the correct answers are taken away from those set so that we can validate the quality of it. Random splitter valid PCT equals 0.2 seed for 332 get y equals parent label parent label is something item tfms which is we want to resize size and maybe i think the resizing method squish would be part of a below data loaders run this if it hopefully runs then we got lucky it doesn't run and I embarrass myself while recording on cool looks like it did it it will show batch jeremy always emphasize on actually looking at the data with your uh, real eyes naked eyes yeah batch show batch six let's see um, if what above is rightly mapped with it. 
so this is idli 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 um let me try to put 12 so that um i mean i didn't see any what about what also i want to uh, Idli, what up? This is not what up. Oh, okay. So I think technically, instead of what up, it's getting some um, phantoms because I got a space. I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, it didn't get what up. This is another advantage. Okay, because our objective is idli versus not idli, it's fine. Imagine you set out to solve a deep learning problem where you wanted to. Recognize what up uh, that be ridiculous. Uh, so okay, anyways, let's proceed further. So at this point, we have got um, the data set ready. Now we are going to fine tune it on a pre-trained model. So learn equals vision learner DLS data block data loader rest net 18 metrics equal to error. So this is the place where it downloaded the model from this. Learn dot fine tune of three. Going to fine tune this model resonate on the data sets, data sets, uh, data set that we have built. It's zero zero and. Once that is done, uh, then we are going to now um, see how our model performs. Let me write the code for that while I'm waiting. Is idli comma underscore comma props. So it outputs three items. One is I think um, one is the value which is is like is idli means it will give the name, and the second one is. Uh, score i'm not sure what is the second value that is coming we can see third value is props learn dot probability learn dot predict okay that is done still running predict pil image dot create we have what idli dot jpg and the next thing is print F, F string, we are printing an F string. This is a this it leaves I mean you can do all those things like if you see the probabilities greater than 50 then you can say it is idli you can, you can play with all those yeah. yeah let me show you what i mean it's it's the this uh, fine tuning is still happening and the final thing is print f or uh, shift type press enter and f of what f of Probability of string probability it is idli props zero what if just it's a number. Okay, so it's it's almost thirty three percent done. You can see that number of turns. Uh, also, see when you did the second turn, which is second epoch. You can see um, first time the training loss was this. Second time the training loss went down. The validation loss also has gone down. So if you have seen ML tutorials you know that these things should come you are making lesser mistake yeah, one more. let's see how much it and do i mean you can 
but yeah it, it, it depends upon like are you going while this is happening i'm still quite surprised that uh... okay so this is finished the third iteration you can see that your base score is here your validation loss kind of validation loss increase so it's a really great sign if your validation loss is in while your training loss is coming down it's usually considered to be overfitting we uh, yeah Okay, I closed it here, my bad. This is A idli, right? And what is the probability of this being A idli? Idli probability is 0.9996. And that's amazing. So let me copy, don't need. Let me say what a power. This is it, it it is considering order of also to be idli which means i assume that wherever chutney is present it's automatically assuming it to be a uh, order of it to be idli and order of cool i get it so i i don't i i am not going to claim that the model has really worked out well because we had problem in our training data set and um, I think you cannot, um, if you're starting to learn something, you need to be ready to face problems like we faced. And, um, initially, it could be a hacky solution, just like, you know, what I, I what I did. I'm like, okay, I'll go with, um, I'll go with the minimum. Um, I'm going, I'm go I, I, I just went ahead with the data set that I just had. And uh, we went. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to randomly download one more image which is uh, let's say i'm going to download urls of zero where do i want it it's just better use this is my markdown yeah Instead of what about like this, maybe I can say new name uh, pizza, maybe pizza or JPG pizza, and I can say pizza. And I run this, I should ideally get pizza downloaded. And if I want to see pizza, so what I can do is is. Open pizza dot apg I am and then to thumb it's just like this. So what I'm going to try now is I want to say pizza dot jpeg. It says it's pizza because I think it is most likely the probability is not changing at all maybe our model is doing it it's uh, doing a terrible job because maybe we had uh, we had very less data it learned predict and uh, this Italy is wondering how this is showing me Right. It be the actual description. I selected it's zero, it said zero is not a what a power dot jpeg. This is a board. board. Yeah. 
this in we ran forest here it is a forest right but with lower probability now i'm all i'm wondering is why does it not say it is a You. Do you know what I want to find? Do I want the? I want to save it as V dot JPEG. Saving pizzas V dot JPEG because all the images are V. Try that. Is this the? It says it is. Idli. Learn dot predict fine tune it fine tune right it fine tuning it was done after that okay see here you can see the validation loss going down but ours started overfitting you can understand but what I'm not able to understand is how it still says it is forest.jpg I don't know. I'm not sure if I should fix the probability stays same you know that's what the most surprising thing is probability didn't change 20 images see for training data it is that bad i mean everything is getting predicted okay i think the problem is Training data set as idli put on. Probably you understand. So, what we can probably do is instead of idli, I'm going to try pizza versus what I'm working. I'm just going to run all these things. I'm not, I'm not going to change the name. I'm just keeping the same name. I mean, the folder name is going to be same, but uh, instead I'm just using um, this. But now I'm wondering what if it actually writes the name. I mean, it just adds images there. It just uh, can you only replace it? Become a problem for us because our training data set will have idli and pizza, and that that might yeah, so we have pizza, we have idli. We need to delete this. We have pizza. What ideally, I'm going to delete this for and delete. Let, let this let this coding idli slash what I mean I've called the path as idlis user warning that's fine what it's saying is CFPNG image you've got the four channels red, green, blue, and alpha, which is the transparent with their flattening. 
okay so it has a problem visual I'm going to delete this folder. Okay, so we deleted it. At this point, we have successfully deleted. If I do ls, if I do ls, I got idli, idli or not, pizza v. Fine. So now I don't need whatever images. All I need is idli or not, right? And, um, so basically, I'm looking at pizza or not. It's not required. Let's look for any failed images. Then we can unlink it. Let's create a data block, then we can a data block, then we can look at the images. So I'm printing 20 images. Now what I'm expecting is that given that V is yeah, looking at pizza, Italy, pizza, Italy. Pretty strangely, I've got what upon Okay, so I get it. So I think um Data set has got a messed up last time when I okay. Anyways, we are trying to put pizza, right? Pizza should be in one folder, the other should be in the other one. So let's see if it works. My apologies, I but again, you know what? If you don't mess up now, full point of learning, so see learning dot fine tune. So it might take a couple of minutes. I want to see we are again going to work it and a work it. If you don't understand what is a work it, I think most likely Jeremy would uh, for it. I'm so I don't know. Finally, what I'm trying to try is I'm trying to check with a picture and then see if it is predicting. First, we have got training log. There it is. This is all these mistakes are happening because when we are running our own uh, something and I think it's a good thing that we can practice so I'm not sure I want to call it pizza Let's see what is the it's gone down um, quite a bit so it basically takes about a minute for every round and the third round we have to see whether the validation comes down from 0 0.06 or it is going to go unlike previous case where um, we could clearly see it overfitting Oh, this is the voltage. Wait, is Italy? I want to call it is. It's, uh, 
it has come down again I hope it doesn't work we can we can close the video happy now fine tuning Done. So it didn't work it. This time you, you see it is continuously in descending order. So that's good. Let's run this. Is this a pizza? It's zero zero percent confidence because that V is like finger or something. So with zero percent confidence, it is saying it is pizza. So that's a good thing for us. I'm going to ask what up or no? What a or dot J. What about JPEG? This is a what up of zero percent confidence that this is a what up of zero percent confident. So next is this is a pizza. Um, let me do Italy, 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 and ninety nine point one. Let me do pizza. It's a zero percent. I think our model is slightly messed up with the labels because of AV downloaded it. Um, but things are okay. Naming it. Comment it. Uh, it's. Is it be? Is it in? Pizza. Yes. Call it Italy. Yes. It it for the all the classes. Uh, it's saying it is a it is a Italy. It is a this nine nine. So I'm save the notebook here for saving. I want to make it public. Like I go here, share public, um, save it, save quick save. I should have given a better title. Italy pizza. Okay, so that's quick save, save. Was it? Back here. Go to this. So we successfully managed to do this notebook this notebook is check it out yourself basically explaining how jupyter notebook works and uh, at the end of the first chapter then this activity you also have a quiz for example what is overfitting which <laughs> just literally is what is overfitting what are hyper parameters what is the cheap view when you run a cell so try out all these things and let me know if it works like if you happen to i'm not sure if anybody is going to watch the video but if you happen to watch this video by any chance in the future i don't know then uh, then let me know otherwise i think we have successfully finished everything that we wanted to do in uh, the getting started section so in the next video we can do fast ai courses second chapter Deployment. Still a long way to go. Uh, see you.
Take care. Peace.